Hi, so let's talk about the another important indicator which is used in a drive test, which is RSRQ. Now we talked about the RSRP, which is a signal strength for the reference signals. Then we talked about the RSSI, which indicates the overall power that is being distributed across the different signals and channels, including reference signal. Now here we are talking about what is the quality of the reference signals which has been received. So how do we measure that? It actually depicts that our basically wanted signals or the required signals are those which are being captured by the reference signals, whereas the RSSI, which is capturing, capturing the signal across the different signals and channels, that is containing the required as well as not required signals. So in that case, what we normally say is the quality will be determined by how many number of resource blocks we are using. And then we just consider the, the received power for the reference signal, which is the wanted signal or the required signal. And we just divided it by the RSSI, which means the overall spread of the received signals between the different channels and signals, irrespective they are coming from the serving cell or from the neighboring cell, or maybe it is an external interference. So this RSRQ will help us to determine that how is the overall quality? Are we getting the coverage, good coverage from the reference signals, which are coming from the serving cell, or are we getting some some other signals or noise from the neighboring cells which are unwanted which we don't need so rsrq which we have seen earlier like in case of the rssi we have calculated that this is the power across the whole symbols and in case of rsrp we have seen it is just related to the power which is distributed across reference signals only now we divide both of them and what we are saying is whatever the power which is coming across different OFTM symbols, which is carrying reference signals from the serving cell, as well as from the neighboring cell or from the external interference that will be considered here. And from there, we are going to calculate the quality. Now quality, we have different range in that case. If it is really high, it means it is really good. It means we have the reference signals received power is really very good and we don't have any external interference as well as we don't have any interference from the adjacent cells which are running on the same frequency band we understand that in 4G. Now if RSRP is good enough it is it means we have a good RSRQ also and we have a lesser RSSI in that case in that case the RSRQ would be greater than minus 10 dB in that case we will say it is excellent we'll talk about that in the in the subsequent slide where we'll see the coverage plot and the RSRQ plot.